Hello, my name is Arlette Milstead. I go to Council Bluffs, Abe Lincoln. And the title of my piece is Society vs. Child of God. What does it mean to be a child of God? I mean, we do go to church Sunday morning, sitting in the pews, holding hands out for our Savior, biting on our tongues, trying not to fall asleep during the sermon, and of course we are baptized as babies. Isn't that all there is to it? Society is like a slow, but aggressive hit to the face. To sum it up, society's screwed up. They only tell us how to act to the public. They're basically a group of do as I say, not as I do, parents. They always tell us, act like a lady on the outside, not a whore, it's a sin otherwise. They don't really care what we do privately, private to the public anyways. They don't know that on the inside, we're all partying and forgetting everything our parents taught us. We assume we're supposed to act with poison respect, but we do that right? Unless we're partying with who? Boys? It's Saturday night, we've got our tight red dresses on, our full faces of makeup. We don't bother bringing condoms, we think we're gonna stay holy. But if we don't, it doesn't really matter if we have sex before we're married. It's just one small little thing. No one's gonna find out, right? Sunday morning comes and we go back to the world society thinks we live in with our skirts just below our knees and plain Mary Janes. Oh wait, our collarbones are showing. We better button our off-white polos all the way up. Next thing you know, it's Monday and we wait a whole week to learn exactly what? Everything except what we actually need. Society just focuses on telling us to get straight A's. Do they ever teach us lessons we need for life? Like what's morally right and morally wrong? What if we face a life-threatening situation? What if we get jumped? What if we get robbed? Are we supposed to just take in the facts and ignore the risks? Let's just go to the mall to get our mind off things. Here we are. We left our wallets at home, but we're already at the mall, too late to turn back. Just this one time it can't hurt. We're just stealing one little shirt, and maybe a few others. But life goes on, right? God damn it, our parents found out. Oops, did we just say God damn it? Oh well, everyone else says it. Now I'm confined to my room, stuck with nothing but a small bowl of pride. And of course, my creative imagination. At least that's what my parents call it. Another day of school, or as some of us say, a symbolical chain of hell. You might as well say we're cuffed. Because what do we even have control of? Our thoughts, they're slipping out of our hands and we can't help it. We were never taught how to keep it together. Here comes another thought. If only I could take it back. Think that new boy Chad? It's pretty cute. But wait, don't you have a boyfriend already? Lusting over women or men while you're in another relationship isn't bad. It's just human nature. At least that's what we thought was right. Would you still call us children of God? Our mamas did not raise us like that, but society sure did. <laughs>